Hello and welcome everybody and thank you for joining me into a quick Lost Ark tutorial where you allow me to educate you to avoid these mistakes in your journey. Now the first mistake is something that I am actually surprised even though I shouldn't be that people aren't even aware of this function and that is the gear transfer. What that means somewhat later down the line you will be able to complete abyssal dungeons that lets you craft new gear. And that new gear is actually the same item level as the existing chaos dungeon gear. And what that allows us to do is we can transfer our existing enchantment directly copy paste it onto the new gear what a lot of people did is they actually started upgrading that gear from new and then they basically wasted materials and were stuck with two sets of gears you absolutely don't want to do this how you do this is you go to the enchanting npc the hammer symbol you click on the gear transfer tab and you can automatically see everything that you have and that is eligible gears for transfer now I want to transfer onto my new legendary sword that I crafted after finishing a Bishal dungeon and it automatically shows me what kind of material that I get to use and you can see for a fee of only 2400 silver I get to copy all of my enchanting onto the new sword. Obviously the old one will be destroyed but we don't need it anyway. So that's how we go about this. Don't ever enchant the same item level gear again. Just make sure to use the gear enchantment or the gear transfer as you can see here that's now back to plus eight and my gear score is the same as it was before just that i have a new shiny legendary piece the same works for armor so don't ever enchant the same stuff again in each harbor you will be finding traveling merchant ships one of those ships allows you to transfer your marine voyage coins into pirate coins and these pirate coins can then be used to buy a bunch of upgrade materials for your ships or even better, upgrade materials for your characters. Now this has a weekly limit, so this is not endless. However, I would highly encourage everybody to do this. This is per character. This is something a lot of people don't know. This is not roster bound, but every character that you have can use this pirate coin exchange to boost their respective material account. Now this is not a whole lot. This is like only five shard bags and only a few of that. But this is definitely something that will add up and especially with how many pirate coins and marine coins we're going to be handing like they are handing out so many of those as of now that i highly encourage not skimp out of that actually use those boxes get pirate coins and get those materials at least in the first few weeks after the game has stabilized a bit i don't know if this link up you have to do it but at least right now it's going to be an incredibly good way to boost your account progress overall i absolutely encourage everybody to not keep your power pass the power pass is something that's incredibly powerful right now not because it's called power pass but it'll help you to progress your account at a much faster rate than we normally would be now the power pass some people like to keep it for future classes which in hindsight may sound like a good idea but by the time we get new classes there's a high chance that we either get fewer other events you will have a lot more gold than you already have so you can just use the knowledge transfer in game and maybe we even be handed new power passes to boost more characters in the future so i highly encourage everybody use the power pass at the moment you find or you have a class that you actually want to play how that works is you go to your character selection screen you can already see power pass here you create whatever character you want let's say you want a berserker you click on berserker like customize create the character once the character is set up here at level one it'll ask you still the same thing you want to launch or click on power pass and since i already use those power passes here you can then click on power pass and it'll automatically boost that character all the way to level 50. the second power pass will be obtained once you actually consume the first one which is why i said use those power passes as soon as you get them you get the first power pass after your main character hit his, hit, hit his, hits item level 340. So definitely make sure to use them as soon as you have decided on a character that you want to play them on. So the thing about the tower and whether you should clear it on an alt first or on a main first, I can't really say that there's a clear cut answer. Yes, it can be used to boost both your main or your alts depending on the situation. But I think it's very dependable on your personal state. Like how far is your main already progressed? How far do you want to push your main? What most people do is they clear the first nine floors or the first five floors on a on an alt character first to then proceed to do them on a main because those floors give you quite a few shard bags for a very minimal effort. All you need is a character that's item level 340. Now the reason you want to do a first clear 
on a character that's maybe not as maybe not designed to progress as fast is because all of these materials that you can see right now are only available if you have cleared the tower once before so you can see that there's a lot of materials ranging from guardian stones destruction stones leap stones and shard bags pretty much everything you need in order to upgrade your character fast so if we're going to take a look at my main character here for example I cleared the first nine floors on my artillerist so my main could actually get those shard bags. And you can see that starting floor 10, all of a sudden, I have a lot of other stuff as engraving books, vitality potions, skill potions. This is the so-called first clear. Like I said, for me personally, it was worth it to grab those few materials on my main instead of my alt. However, the situation might be different for each of you. So just be aware that the tower has a lot of materials available for each character that goes for a subsequent clear. So clear it on whatever character you see fit first, and then every following character can make use of those extra materials. The same obviously applies to tower 2, but I didn't do it yet because I only have one character in tier 2 so far. Now, another thing that some people seem to deem evil is Murray's secret shop. This is a very heavily debated topic, but I would like to take away some of the stigma and the fear. The Murray's secret shop is there to be used by everybody, and by everybody I mean even free-to-play people. And why you should learn about Murray's secret shop, and why I think it's personally important, I'll show you a very clear example here, right? We're gonna go to that listing here. We can get five shard pouches those are tier 2 shard pouches or 19 blue crystals 19 blue crystals are around about gonna cost me let's just say i was really eager to buy them i could buy 95 of those blue crystals for 191 gold right so if we were just to take like average numbers here around 20 percent of that would be synced or would be sunken into those shard bags so let's just say for the sake of easy comparison, 40 gold is going to get me five of those short bags. Now, if we go to the auction house and check for the materials here, we're going to go tier two. So this will be easier. You can already see that one single short bag goes for a whooping 365 gold instead. So I don't I, I think this shows very clearly that some items are incredibly potent to be bought from Marie's secret shop. And as I said, this has nothing to do with pay to win because everybody can get those crystals just by buying them here. As you can see, I already bought quite a few of crystals with my actual gold. So I didn't even pay to win all that much with my own stuff, but I actually used my in-game gold to buy that stuff to then be able to use that crystals or that gold converted into crystals into Marie's black shop or secret shop now obviously some of these items are not actually worth it in terms of ratio you're better off buying some of these items from the actual marketplace however these items most notably i think are the shirt bags and as of right now the leap stones are way easier to obtain or way cheaper to obtain than by doing it through the marketplace obviously the secret shop has a limited supply so at some point you are maybe asking yourself the question okay i used everything then of course you only your only choice left is to use the auction house but as of right now i would highly encourage everybody to learn about this and before you buy these uh quite high priced shards and i mean i'm happy because i sold quite a few of those as well but before you buy those i would highly encourage everybody to check out marie's secret shop and see if there's something in there that you could use to strike a better deal because it's definitely there to help you and the last thing that I want to give you guys in a way is don't reset your Bifrost using blue crystals. As you can see here right now, I can actually save this location here for free. Whereas maybe you're trying to save a new location and it may ask yourself like, ah, why is there a timer? So how this works is after you've set the point to a new location, you need to wait 24 hours to reset it again. Obviously, if you, for whatever reason, really need to hurry fast to get a new location on your Bifrost, then by all means do it. I would highly encourage just wait or use any of the other slots and rotate them around to the next day if you really need to. And that's it for the things that I hopefully will be able to help you avoid. I know some of these mistakes have been made in the past, so press F in chat 
Jokes aside, this is really designed for people that never played the game or might be a little bit confused. Outside of this, I also stream every now and then, so you can follow me on Twitch. You can find the link in the description below. If you like this video, then I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit the like button and maybe even share it with friends. Other than that, I do hope you to stay safe, do stay healthy, more healthy than I do. And I'll see you guys and girls either in the next stream or the next video, so yeah.